Do you think you know one of those five facts about a silverfish? If you do, let me know how many in the comment section below. Here are five things you didn't know about a silverfish. When a silverfish is left alone, it will find a place to hide in. It can be a brick, a stone, or cobblestone, or cracked brick, or mossy brick. It will make a smoke effect when done. However, if you break the block afterwards, they will attack you. If you wanted one silverfish, it won't trigger any monster egg nearby. But if you don't want it, it by example with a wooden sword, it will trigger the other eggs to spawn and attack you. Silverfish can see through walls. They can see you, track you and find you. If you attack a silverfish while they are in a block nearby, behind a wall, they will spawn from that and still find a way to find you. Silverfish are, after the endemite, the smallest mob in Minecraft. So if you spawn them on soul sand, they will suffocate due to the sinking you get while walking on it. They also take damage from the end portal frames. So if you are afraid of silverfish, just place soul sand in your house. Problem solved. We all know that with silk touch you can harvest blocks in their original form. So if, for example if you take a stone with a silk touch axe, it will still be a stone. So what I've tried is to place a monster egg and harvest it with a normal pickaxe. Obviously a silver fish would come out. However, if you place a monster egg and harvest it with a silk touch axe, it won't drop any silver fish. You would think you would get the monster egg, but nope, you just get a normal stone. If you like those five facts about the silver fish, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe. Do it! That would be great. I wish you a very nice day, and until the next time.